Dear friends, uh, this is the video 3 lecture. I am taking the case study. There are a lot of case studies. Not only in my own experience. I have been appearing for many uh, IPs who are having large number of assignments. So their experiences, I am advising them and also whenever there is a trouble, we are appearing. Therefore, that experience plus interacting with any more experienced RPs than me and then applying this uh, code. I wanted to know, uh, but where, how to bring practicals? The and they say that IBBI has lost uh, contact with the ground realities in spite of they are being highly supported by uh, Honorable Supreme Court and NCLAT and also the government legislature in empowering them to pass any legislation. And the uh, second point is uh, the IBBI chairman, uh, Honorable Chairman is always in the news you can see almost where he is claiming credits that uh, IBC is excellent uh, legislation. That is a point. He also published uh, uh, this thing uh, wherein he claims this legislation is one of the best legislation. All that we have discussed, but now we are structuring our thoughts. What is the exactly loss is come? He has not given reply. So now what is VA? It is only that I should find, keep finding faults. No. Let us give some suggestions. So let us take the goal. First one we have taken uh, that uh, honorable uh, chairman who said that uh, when you wanted to start this legislation, uh, there should be some beginning. That's true. What he says is fine. But he says that all, of, all the people who felt this, way, this legislation will not work in this structure. Experts who must have told like that. And they said, what were the grievance of them? But what he wrote, the ecosystem has not been developed. Uh, the resolution professional is the key person that uh, he requires a lot of talent, uh, business revival strategies, etc. There is nobody here, is what they have said. Then honorable uh, person say, chairman says that we have created 2018. Uh, he has never answered in a specific terminology why we have lost 6,50,000 crores. Why he, all that. This is already I have been talking. I am uh, repeating many times because this is a very complicated legislation that has come and very few people will be knowing it. And in that, when we RP and RC, they may have a different view from what I am explaining. Rightly so. So, we wanted to develop uh, the uh, thinking aloud so that nation is benefited. That's all. So, uh, because this is uh, only 3000 RPs are there. And in that, uh, we were told that 90% of them have no work. We don't know that too because I see IBB and didn't say anything. So this 10% means about uh, 300 people. And in that, also around 10 to 15, 20 people are active. Is what is that. So obviously this is a very low structured one. So I am only hoping that uh, it will be corrected. If it is, they find it what uh, I suggest is reason. So what is my stand? I am now going to explain the case. There are so many cases but only I am taking 2-3 cases. Because all the, all the people have same grievances. Whomever we discussed, uh, we have uh, uh, handled uh, or advised almost 50, 60 cases, same problem. And then uh, other RPs also feel worse than the problems faced by us. Except IBBI, everybody knows what is happening in this. So first step is, what is that, whether the going concern that is being the objective laid down can be implemented in the present structure. Then whether the maximum realization is possible, then time-bound resolution, so you will get a picture. 
from whatever I am explaining. So that itself will be a suggestions, which again I am going to structure as suggestions. These are all the possible suggestions. So we want a, a expert committee to be appointed to look into all the grievances. This is the uh, public interest litigation. That is. So oh, once again I am repeating. The many RPs we see, they will. Everybody thinks they know everything. Fine, but then till now nothing has been. These are all the glaring problems. But then, uh, uh, till through two and a half years, I've been bringing it to the notice of IBB. Nothing happens. We will work for the nation. Is my noble intention. Okay. Now this is a first case. So many are there. As I told you, I'm not going to talk. And it is generally I want to tell case. Now I don't want to mention the names of the companies or the or the banks. Um, so it is like a lifestyle. But then we can explain. In the court already the papers are there, so it's a public subject to RTA and all. This is a company. Uh, if you analyze the background of these companies, there was a promoter. Came from a very noble beginning. He told me. He tells us from uh, 2000, 90s, uh, 2000, he exactly started. Took a loan of one lakh rupees from a public sector bank, and then in a period of 15 years, one five, he's established a very big uh, seafoods, purchasing bronze, processing and exporting them. Then buying the mother prawns and uh, from Taiwan, and then breeding the hatchlings, and then selling them in all the India. He's got a very good knowledge of business, well trained persons, committed staff, and all. Big fact. Yes, yes. And uh, during the course of this, he also started one fruit. Uh, processing unit, most expensive machineries, and uh, <clears throat> everything is going well. Business. Then he also started another bottling, same hundred acres uh, factory. Beautiful art of this. So this gentleman, what he did when he started taking money, uh, he has developed a very good uh, rapport with the. Top chairmen, general managers. You can just like that margin to the chairman's group. And uh, from a beginning of one lakh rupees loan, it took over a period of 15 years. He, when the matter came for CARP admission by another private bank, this is a um, multiple bank and a private sector bank uh, only filed case again. And the claims admitted for both the companies, same promoter, both the companies around uh, as on today, if you take as on the date calculations, around 1000 plus crores, 1000 crores. One company is around, if, if at this present rate, around 500. Another company is 600, including interest. If the company was working well, then uh, bankers would have got interest of 1100. Coming to one company, that company, 300 and uh, there were uh, 12 resolution applicants came. 300 crores, they were ready, very seriously interested in this company. And uh, but somehow it was stopped by the promoter. By uh, influencing the chairman. A lot of issues took place, which I am going to explain. The result is today the same promoter has taken that company, valued at the uh, total valuation of the company at 80 crores, 80 to 100 crores. Finally, they agreed to, bankers agreed, okay, you pay us 85 crores. And he is expected to pay 5 crores. Cash front balance funds he will pay in a five year period of running the company well, the profits of the company. That's all. This is the 
sum total of what I'm going to explain. That is, uh, the broad picture is explained. I'm telling you repeatedly, you cannot tell that now it's COVID has come, so what whether he will, he may cut it down further. And the bankers are uh, no choice when they got to that opportunity to get the money. And now, but this is a public sector bank where the officials, when they retire, they'll get pension. Even if they don't work, they will get their salary, huge salaries. There is no accountability to anybody. In case he's going to revive and recover it, he will get promotions. That's all. That is all. The system is working. I am not saying, please note, uh, my experience uh, and as an auditor, um, concurrent auditor, very good bankers, one of the best people I have ever met in integrity, honesty, very good. I am not uh, just trying to exaggerate because I am blaming them only now. So it is not to say that, but I am. these are the different crop of uh, people who are in recovery. And another thing is, admittedly, the banking banker is a lender, is not an entrepreneur. There is no enough techniques for this present system. A bankers may be competent, or not competent, 90% to monitor the lending. Because they have so much other money, that is also there. So there is a gap in the system. As Mr. Dattar very nicely said, that you are going on coming with a nice legislation, you market, you are pouring water, that is the money of the public. And the bucket is having holes, and so the water is coming out. Every time you are introducing, you are saying this is the best legislation. Later on, the legislation is ending up in failure. Very beautifully. First, I heard him, I told you already in some of the lectures. So, the object. The going concern is the object, but there is no place for that. Then uh, the commercial wisdom of the lenders, not justiciable by Supreme Court, might have ruined the whole thing. Here is a lender who doesn't know anything, is given sweeping powers. Here is the lender, if you go through deeply, he is responsible for losses of public money, tax of crores. But he is not made accountable and he is given sweeping powers. Here is the law which believes RP is the key person playing a pivotal role. But he is just treated like a pure. That's all. This is what my conclusion is. So we address that problem, then the, pro the legislation will become very good. Now, in this example, I remember, I remember, it was the resolution of the professional for some time. At the initial stages when this gentleman was seeing the law is very tough because what this man did is he parallelly started another company, siphoned off goodwill, money, everything and that is doing very well with some personal guarantee of company. Brother is running that. Make sure that they cannot attack them. Very professional, high profit company. And uh, that uh, he was afraid so that he thought we'll pay off this uh, 300 crores instead of somebody else coming and taking out. Then uh, he, synergy to, I have been telling again also, that 900 crores they took it off, same promoters took 40 crores. Then he thought, oh, why I also get out of this 1000 crores, so why should I pay to the banks? I'll get it. In fact, he told me, Sir, uh, we, uh, we will take care of you and uh, this company I will give 60 crores and take it. That is uh, out of that 400 crores loan. Now it may be 520. I asked him oh, what is this sir? He said if I have to start the same factory, if I have to save the same plant and machinery, latest art, this is old and uh, I need only 45 crores. Who wants that land? I am not a banker uh, to just lend so much money. I can start it because I have a 
uh, attachment to this guy said, I am going on it, let it go like that. You know. Then I said, uh, I will go by law. Then he said, we will remove you, I will tell the chairman, then you will be removed. You be clear on that. Over action if you do, that also will be taken. What has happened? So some total of what I am going to say is this. So, what is the case? Let me tell you. I am going to be very elaborate on this. And uh, in this uh, first part is, uh, the company was, uh, uh, they are private bankers, filed petition under section 7, appointing their own known person as the IR. It was admitted and uh, insolvency proceedings have started. The law is very new and then you know you have to take over that company. The co-professional, I saw let's see, professional was a, um, he is not trained, let me put it like this, he is not uh, experienced in uh, business, first time he is getting and uh, procedural man, very procedural man. So there are certain things he took over the company and uh, took over the banks wherever he was learning. They will maintain a lot of bank accounts. So we may have to freeze them and then transfer it to the RP's name. The RP's. And that uh, take custody control of the uh, business. Here, the business, the promoter is very clear that he will take over the company. And then machinery, he tells everybody either he wants to, because anyway, if you don't pay this, he has to pay from the other one company which is running. They are doing work for there also. Therefore, he is very much keen that this company should be done. So, a very good cooperation here. But this RP focused on only uh, constitution of CUC. So, because everybody is new, all bankers, uh, they know somebody, everybody knows little, little. And this is, uh, this happened in September 2017. Uh, that was admitted. That means the law just came a very nascent stage also. Now only this is 2020. Litigation went on, went on. Now the finally in a compromise arrangement, section 230, subsection 6, they have made a proposal for taking over the company by paying five crores. And bankers also approved, is what I understood. So what happened? Sequence of events. So in the first meeting, the insolvency professional who is IRP prepared the OT chair and uh, increasing 100 crores for corporate guarantee invoked. That is, the law is allowed. So he is done as per law only, I think. But then that uh, public sector bank had one fellow, uh, DCL, he is about to retire in two months. And another uh, AGM of another public sector bank, and uh, he is uh, he is a lawyer, recovery very hard. And in front of you, he will abuse the promoter, his wife, anybody he will abuse. Then the land uh, lead banker is there. We gave all the money, so much. The chairman is involved. He is a close friend of this chair, this fellow. And they have one AGM. And that official will come and sleep. They don't know the law. And uh, why should you learn also the law is their style. This is the bank. The private sector bankers are very knowledgeable. They have understood the law well. They will help you. IRP, they respect. They assist. They, it's, after all, you are sharing knowledge. I cannot say I only know everything. That's all wrong. But then here the bankers think they all know everything. Okay. Because the bankers felt he has done under broad mistake. So they have been very harsh to that I am. Uh, very harsh, very unfortunate. When I hear that the way they have attacked him with slangs, you know, he feel bad. I came no later on. In the first meeting, uh, they really attacked him and all that, removed him. And then the next meeting, they, without telling, they have introduced my name and uh, I was appointed. Though the decision is taken in the second COC, 
but to move the petition to NCLT, it took three months. No work was done. And then after NCLT, what happens is that time they will refer to IBBI and the IBBI within 10 to 15 days will confirm the so it is almost, it took four months, four months. So here if you see, that is uh, IBBI name is there, registered person is there. So long as your name is there, thereafter why should you send all this river, any discipline case pending or other. Anyway, they have corrected in that part, uh, over a period, everybody made, somehow they listened, IBBI doesn't listen, that is one thing. They will proceed, that's all. And uh, fine. I was appointed. And uh, I have to meet all the bankers and guy take their guidance. And uh, because uh, they will, the problem with the situation, what I experienced, I had got very nice people met, but these chaps uh, were very, they want to find uh, mistakes with what do you know? Kirk, he will take something. You don't know anything. See the law. These sort of fellows are appointed. What is the use? Like that. Then. And uh, they, that is, they are not in a position to, uh, you know, you're like a servant, you they wanted this. Then what I did is, I wanted uh, the purpose of the CARP is to keep going guns. And uh, I was running a sea, a seafood company when uh, as a chartered accountant in one, uh, and we won national award. We revived that company. I know everything in seafoods. Myself, the managing director, all three of team wished to do that. So when I knew I knew everything, immediately I went there. I prepared a plan to keep the entity as a going concern management, reorganized structures. Staff are very good and accountant is excellent. Nice help. Promoter every day will come in Mercedes car. First. We need to know. Daily he will be talking. So I made everything ready and uh, valuers we appointed and the good valuers. Immediately we call everybody. They have to give all the documents up with them and uh, the, the banker, lead bank has kept that documents. And then uh, fair market value that we have done. Then whatever work we have to do, we have completed. All within a 15-20 days as a war footing. We went there, put uh, video cameras so that I can see everything. And uh, we got into plan. The promoter also was convinced this guy is quite knowledgeable. He also told him, sir, why should we fight with the bankers? Because they are not bothered, if money also doesn't come, they don't care, but they would like to attack you. And therefore, uh, I would like to, let's come for a compromise. The law is very difficult. And if suppose they introduce corporate guarantee, personal guarantee, then they will take away all the money from you. He was scared. So there's something, discussions and everything. He has to go and meet the banker, uh, DGM, GM. MD is the main man for it. And uh, the lead banks and they are all telling we are listening to it. We are new because we are learning. You have to respect everybody. The bankers treat those uh, promoters as thieves like that. He will shout. Inside they are very nice, but in front of us uh, they are very very tough. So therefore, uh, we don't know, but we are watching in the situation how it turns out. To be. And in the first COC meeting. I made a presentation that this is how it can be revived. And working capital is quite this much. Before I could tell that, that uh, DGM, hey, don't think of revival, close that. Take a lock, purchase a good lock and close it. We will not put our good money against bad money. Immediately that other banker took lead. And, um, he also said, what work you have done? How many banks you have seen? Have you analyzed that? Transactions. What have you done? 
Why are you thinking of taking control of these assets and all? Security, you put it. Cameras, you have put it. And there's that. Then I uh, was about to explain, I've done like this, sir. This is the working capital. No, no, we will not pay one room. I said, you need not pay. But uh, the promoter is willing to contribute. So that inflows, outflows will match. Workers are taken care. Dictionary will be kept coming. And uh, it is easy to handle when the activity is there. And we can try for selling resolution. I do that. Only when the company is running in full swing. And this is a high class machinery, you know, the export oriented thing. And that is to be kept in running condition. And we also have, the promoter has given some huge money for working capital. All that I have to take, uh, purchase, allow him to purchase uh, products from Taiwan, import them. Then within three months, the cash flow will come. Full profitability of this I worked out. Uh, first, they told that promoters, uh, uh, that general manager of finance, get lost. First, get out. Not think twice that fellow. He said, get out. Shocked, you know, human beings. My article, seniors, CAs are sitting. Articles are there, senior assistants. Then he told me, we are not expecting this sort of work for you. It's a waste to pay you. What we say you do, that's all. Otherwise, uh, it will not do. I said, what I should do? Lock it. Keep it in under lock. And then you go by procedures. What is the law? What should be done? The first time in my career as a teacher, and all, I never saw somebody firing us. Because I'm like uh, Mr. Modi, monologue. One side only, a teacher, no, I only keep teaching, others have to listen. So suddenly I am exposed to my articles and I said, why is he abusing like this, sir? I said, no, no, I want to learn no more. But it was a nightmare. After that, they will send mails, you do this, you do this, sir, and all. Don't do this. This is to be done. And why are you doing WhatsApp? Luckily, I did one thing, WhatsApp, I put. And then I used to tell them, inform them. And they have to reply. That is what they didn't like. During that course, we completed valuation, everything and all. They didn't pay money. We gave advertisement for uh, resolution applicants. Not only it's Famji, uh, all the tests come. But earlier that Famji was there, it is unmodified. It's all new advertisement was given and all. Then I go in informing them, they will not reply. Every day you cannot conduct COC meeting. They won't reply. Then uh, when we did uh, checking all the financial statements we got ready, as you know, everything will be cooked up figures. And uh, then we have to see, suddenly we found that uh, there was a stock audit report uh, four years back. Uh, one of the banks did it, wherein this person claimed a loss of 320 crores. Talk of bronze destroyed. 